In this week's Parashat Shavua, Parashat Shuma, we have a description of the Holy Ark, of the Aron Habrit. The Kruvim, the two images of angelic beings that were on top of the Aron, should be of outstretched wings, ala kaporet, on the cover of the Aron, ufnehem ish el achiv, and their faces should be one to their brother, el hakaporet yiyupnea kruvim. Towards the kaporet should be the faces of the kruvim. And this verse seems to contradict itself within a few words. Are the kruvim facing each other, panehem el achiv? Or are their faces facing the kaporet, the cover of the ark of the Aaron, on which the kruvim are standing? This image of angels facing one another is very familiar to us from the tefillah, the highest tefillah, which we call Kedusha, which draws from Yeshayahu Vav, the sixth chapter of Isaiah. The description over there of the angels saying, Kadosh, 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 holy, holy, holy to God, in the inner chambers, evoking what the inner chambers and the Holy of Holies might be like, specifically as angels that are calling one to another, Vikaraz ze el ze, which is a little strange. We might expect that they should be calling to God and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy. In a beautiful interpretation of this, I once heard a description of the three times that the word holy is used. What's the holy, holy, holy? The Kliyakar says that the first holy is actually one angel saying to the other angel, you are holy. The second holy is the second angel saying back to the first angel, you are holy. And then when we've affirmed our holiness, because you know what? The most difficult thing is for us to know that we're holy, for us to feel worthy of praising God, for us to feel worthy of turning towards God. After they've affirmed their holiness and their potential, they turn together towards God, and that's the third kadosh, they proclaim him holy. This finds expression in Birkot Kriyat Shema every morning and the blessings before Shema, where the Paitan, where the poem introducing the Kedusha says, V'notnim reshut zelazeh l'akdish le'otzra menachat ruach. They give permission to one another to sanctify their creator, benachat ruach, calmly, and etc., in fear, in awe. This giving permission is so crucial. And, of course, my teacher, and perhaps yours, the late, great, Rav Shlomo Karlbach Zatzal, everybody he met, he would call them holy brother and holy sister. This was actually what he was doing. He was saying kadosh. He was saying you are holy. What I'm trying to say is that it's in turning towards each other that we become able to turn towards God. Just as the Kruvim, it's in turning towards each other that they're able to actually to look towards the Kaporet. It's there in the place where we affirm each other's value, that we understand what it means to truly be holy and to turn towards God and to, and to, and to form a relationship. So it's not coincidental that we're told in the Tanakh that actually the voice of God itself emanates from that meeting point, that meeting point of the eyes of the two Kruvim, that meeting point of our own eyes as we turn towards one another and then towards God.